I'm waiting for this elevator. Ten minutes. What are we paying for, anyway? I'm sorry, Miss Layton. I'll get a serviceman right after the holidays. He certainly has grown. Sure. Come on, sweetie. Come on, honey. Morning, Miss Simpson. Archie. Artie. Artie, Miss Simpson. From the King. Yes, of course, yes. King Arthur. The one with all the knives. That's you, Artie? No, it's your high school sweetheart. <laughs> I never went to high school. You finished that job pretty quick. Well, there's nothing to it once you get the hang of it. It doesn't exactly take a genius to fix a sink. How you doing? You almost packed? Just about. Good. Hey, Stu Schreiber spoke to O'Leary's son at the plant. There's talk they may put the graveyard shift back on. That'll be great. Yeah, I don't believe it either. It's probably just talk. I sure do miss the guys, though. Well, most of them are out of work. You're lucky you got this job. Yeah. You call for a taxi? Uh-huh. Good. Artie. I don't have to go. I mean, my sister's always exaggerating her illnesses anyway. After all, it's only Bacitis. No, it, it did do you good to see her. It just do you good, you know. There's, there's, anyway, there's no point in hanging around here with the heat and all, so just... Okay. Sure. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah. This came for you special. It's my correspondence course, Iris. How could you forget that? You know I've been waiting for it. Diploma with this thing. You listening, Iris? Yeah. When I finish up this. I'll be a mechanical engineer. I won't just be a super in a building anymore. Pretty good, huh? Finish up. Artie. It's a correspondence course. It'll take ten years to finish. I mean, what good's a diploma do you at your age? After all, Artie, you're not young anymore. Oh, there's your, there's your cab. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Now, Artie, don't you back. I can carry it. Well, listen, say, uh, say hi to your sister. Tell her about that hot towel thing for her arm. It worked like a miracle for Mrs. Myrits in 2C, you know? It's... Sure, I will. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll call you as soon as I get there. Okay. And Artie, forget about the bar tonight, huh? Mm. Right. Nadler was nicked over the left eye in the first round, but the puck above the eyelid was sealed in the corner. He has had no further problems. Going into this fight tonight, Denardo and Nadler both unbeaten, all of their experience very limited. Each had had about three pro fights. And the way Say, Danny! Tonight, <laughs> the old lady left you out, huh? Yeah, a little vacation. Well, beats having her around. You said it. <laughs> what do you have? Oh, make it like always. <laughs> Better start me with two. <laughs> Who's fighting? Oh, a couple of pity pats. He's be better off square dancing than fighting. Yeah. I get me in some shape, I'd like to go a couple of rounds with those old ladies. <laughs> Not that I'm not in pretty good shape right now. <laughs> They're coming in the last three or four nights.
that I found. Really? It's real? Oh, it's, it's, it's just a, <clears throat> just a ring. You mind if I join you? No. Do My name's Claudine. Artie. Artie Sawyer. Good to meet you, Archie. Artie. Artie, uh, uh, Arthur. Like the president, Chester Allen Arthur. Oh, yeah? Claudine what? Just Claudine. I don't have a last name. I mean, I don't have a last name, but I use it all. Well, that's just fine. That's fine. Just Claudine's nice enough. Mm hmm It's pretty, isn't it? Yes, it is. My other name was such a drag. But I like Claudine. I mean, I look like a Claudine, don't I? Don't you think I look like a Claudine? Yes, you do. You look, you look just like a Claudine. It's perfect. It's not perfect. But nothing's perfect. I guess you're right. Nothing is nothing is really, really perfect. You were looking at my legs, weren't you? No. Oh. I didn't, didn't mean to bother. He didn't bother me. Then so why should you bother me? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, if you think I'm pretty, why not look? Yeah. Don't you think so? Yeah, I sure do. Yeah, well, here's to it. Anyway, that's how I make my living. Not like that. I'm an actress. I studied theater arts in school. Well, I'll be getting my diploma pretty soon. I do all off Broadway stuff now. I was in a play. It closed a couple of nights ago. Can't <laughs> call. Same to you, Charlie, if you can afford it. Didn't wear anything. Did you see it? Oh, uh, no, I, I go to the, to the theater a lot. I missed that one. I seen Hamlet. East Village, other calls it incredible exercise and sensitivity and a great play to get off on. Sensitivity shows. Hmm? I, I said sensitivity is, is good. Yeah. Uh, Danny, the uh, barkeep says that you're the super down at an apartment building on 8. Is that right? Oh, <clears throat> more like, more like manager, really. Super, super is what I tell people. Super, super. I think supers are underrated. I mean, you have to, you have to know about furnaces, the big furnaces, and electricity. It's like public relations or something. When somebody moves in or out, it must be something up. Oh, it's a, it's a lot of responsibility. It's... Did anybody move out recently? No, we don't have any apartments to rent. That's what I figured. My problem is that I don't have a place to sleep tonight. See, when the play closed, I was supposed to get paid. I didn't see a dime. So I guess I'm kind of stuck. Oh, well, don't you have any friends? No. No relatives, you know, well, the friends I have. Everybody has it tough these days. Uh, the hotel. You got enough money for a hotel? Hmm. Ah, I'll stick around here till closing time. I've got enough money for a couple of beers. And uh, then I'll walk around.
Look at this dress. I mean, I wish I had a longer dress. People get ideas. Men. I love these strange people, too. I don't know. I'll probably meet somebody that I like. I don't know. I'll probably meet somebody nice. You can't just walk around all night. Well, what am I supposed to do? Huh? I mean, if you had an apartment, if you just had a vacant apartment for one night, There is this one empty apartment. I got no business in there. You're not going to mess anything up. Well, it's, not, it's not really empty. I mean, there's one way for the weekend. All I need is a bed. Ah, forget it. You've got the guts to find somebody uh, else. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah, just for one night. Gee. Wouldn't do any harm. I'll be as quiet as a mouse. Thank you. I'll make you feel good about it. Promise you. when you're scared. Let's go. Lieutenant? If you mean me, I'm visiting. Well, now. Visiting you, Artie? How do I know who she's visiting? <laughs> Your form is late. Hmm. Why'd you have to laugh like that?
Wow. Salters had it pretty good. How'd you know the Salters live here? I know. I guess Danny must have told me. I thought you didn't have any friends. Just seeing what time it was. It's a great bed. It's fantastic. I bet an army could sleep in this bed. You an army? Some place. You got some class, Mr. Super Super. Hey, how come the air conditioner's broken? It shouldn't be. Yeah, well, it is. Oh. Never mind. Let's look up a sweat. Mm -hmm. absolute end.
What is this, some kind of a joke? I'll have you all arrested for trespass. What do you think you're doing? Sitting on the couch with my girl, what do you think you were doing? Settle down, Mr. Super. Look, it's all very simple. We just need a place to stay for a couple of nights. So we decided to accept your hospitality. Well, who invited you? You invited Claudine. You tried to make it with my girl. How does adultery sound? Hmm? I'll bet you Iris would love to meet Claudine. How do you know about Iris? Fair question. Artie Sawyer, age 46. Wife Iris, age 45. No children. I won a silver star in World War II. American Legion Award winner, worked in an aircraft plant, blah, blah, blah. Here, superintendent of 327, building on 8th Avenue. Frequent Danny's Elite Pub, a local brewery. Blah, 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 blah. Says here you have a mole on you. Shut up, you're all crazy. No, just thorough. Verge here used to work on New York's finest, didn't you, Verge? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's it. <laughs> it's a gag, right? <laughs> it's some of the guys in, in the poker game. <laughs> what do you want, money? No, just a place to stay. All this for a place to stay? Oh, Claudine, he's a smart one. We, my friends and I, have some business to attend to in your fair city. What kind of business? Don't get nosy, neighbor. Listen, there's no reason we can't be friends. Even if you are a dirty old man. Why don't you just sit down, huh? We'll chat for a bit. I mean... You have a wife and a job to think about, right? Conditioning's broken. I saw you coming up the street. Well, come in, please. Phew, I could die from this heat. I could die and no one would find me for days. Artie isn't here right now. You haven't seen him, have you? Listen, it wouldn't look good if the tenant passed away because the super couldn't fix an air conditioning. Oh, well, I'm sure he'd be right back. I mean, somebody else might be having the same trouble. Well, believe me, these hot nights keep him real busy. I'd say so. He was escorting a, a young visitor upstairs no more than three hours ago. Oh. Well, I'm not one to notice, but his visitor was quite attractive. Uh, could I fix you a nice cold drink? Mm-hmm. Quite an attractive young girl. I'd say she was no more than 20. And in one of those short skirts. Not that I pay much attention to these things. There you are. Thanks. Don't worry, dear. I'm sure Artie will be back momentarily. Well, I'll call you as soon as he does. 
Hmm. Here's Ernie now. Artie, Mrs. Layton wants you to fix that air conditioning. If you're not too busy. I'll, I'll get to it in the morning. Supposed to be at your sister's. What happened? Nothing. I just got worried when you didn't answer the phone. <laughs> I've been calling half the night. Thought something happened to you. So I came back. I'm sorry I ruined your vacation. Where were you this late? A poker game. A friend of Danny's had a poker game. Oh, Artie. You know we can't afford that. Oh, I'm about broke even. What's the difference? What's wrong, Artie? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, come on now. It isn't the worst thing in the world being a superintendent. That's all you think I can do, isn't it? No. Yes, it is, like with the diploma. Didn't you ever want to be something else? Like what, for instance? A princess? Oh, I know what I am, Artie. I've accepted it. Trouble is, you expect too much. I'm going to bed now. Are you coming? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be along. You had that guy thinking he was Valentino and Don Juan all wrapped in one. It was too easy. I started feeling sorry for him. Don't. Maybe you shouldn't have let him go. Burge, Riff and me and you have been together what? Four years, huh? Two in Nam, one in Georgia. Have I steered you wrong yet? I'm not drinking here. Uh, yeah, you've done all right so far. And this one's so big, it's gonna make all those other ones look like Nicolanti. Yeah, well, that's uh, sort of why I was wondering, you know. Stop wondering. Look, if half the guys had the guts the four of us got, nobody would be pushing anybody around. Up to here where people think they got it made. I'm entitled. The real reason I came back was because I was lonely. Then I got scared. Pretty silly, I guess. No. You did the right thing. You didn't have to be worried, though. Mrs. Layton said she saw you with some young girl. But she was visiting somebody upstairs. But I thought... Nothing. Go ahead. Say it. Well, Artie... We're so far apart that... It, it's just like neither of us are here. I, I really want to be a good wife. That's the Funhouse, New York National Trust. 
And right next door, there's about $800,000 in cash and securities in there. And we're gonna make a small loan. <laughs> like all of it. Okay, okay, dry run, let's go. How many cops on the beat? Bird? Just one. Uh, there's usually two, but they're a little short for the holidays, and his watch changes at 3.30 tomorrow night. Right. Okay, a cop starts his beat. He's walking by the bank. How much time we got while he makes his patrol? 11 minutes. Right. Okay. We're on the apartment building roof. That's 84 feet down to the top of the bank. Straight, then. You got all the ropes? I got them. <laughs> it's too bad they taught us to be paratroopers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We come down the ropes. We place one of Riff's surprise packages here. Okay, a cop's still strolling. We got seven more minutes. Tick, 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 boom. And we're staring into the safe deposit room. When? That's 3.59 in 30 seconds. Okay, tick, 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 boom. <laughs> Riff's second bomb. Cancel the ball. What time is that, Riff, baby? 4 a.m. on the button. It better be. I don't want to be kept waiting on that roof. Okay. Tick, 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 tick. We're down the ropes. We're in. We load up all the goodies. And in three and a half minutes, we're back in the apartment, stroking all that loot. Mr. Policeman is wondering from where we came and went. Let's get started. Come here. Rip. I'm ready. This is going to be one hell of a 4th of July. Arnie, breakfast is ready. I'm not hungry. Uh, Miss Simpson in 6A called. She says she's been hearing strange noises from the empty Salter apartment. She's crazy. There's no one up there. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, when you find a happy moment, Mrs. Adonado on 5 called and said she'd like you to come upstairs and help her move some furniture. If you change your mind about breakfast, will you let me know? No. my friend. It's a virtue, you know. Very soon. Going up. Nice morning for a stroll, hmm? Slow one. This is the super.
Oh, good morning. May I help you? Yes, we'd like to put some things in a safe deposit box, a large one. Oh, my pleasure. Please, sit down. Your uh, name, please? Uh, Claxton. Mr. and Mrs. Egbert and Claxton. We were just married. Oh, congratulations. It's been three hours now. And 22 minutes. As we say in Jewish, mazel tov. <laughs> mazel tov. Your address? 11 East Lassen Street, Duluth, Minnesota. Oh, how nice. Honeymoon is in our city. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Can you sign here, please? Thank you. Now, come with me, please. Make way for the newlyweds. You're sure safe. Well, it's crime. I can see why. Oh, 95 years. That's our policy. <laughs> now, here's your key. It takes two keys to open the box. sort of um, baby these things, you know. Sort of make them feel like you're the mother. You know, I think if I was you, I'd probably just make one good fast move for this. Huh? <laughs> I don't know, maybe not though. <laughs> you probably wouldn't like being dead. I mean, nobody does. You say something to me, man. Who invited him? Nobody. He just walked right in, snooped around, saw a few things here. You, you couldn't mind your own business, could you? This apartment is my business. You're gonna wish that wasn't true. What are you talking about? What are you gonna do to him? He could fall out the window. Did I ask you? Huh? And you're a little too concerned about your friend here. You're one of those people who spends his life complicating things. Maybe you should fall out the window. Oh, Mrs. Sawyer. Yes, Miss Simpson. I was already gotten up to the Salter apartment, yet I'm still hearing those noises. Oh, he may be there right now. I told him you've been calling. Well, if you like, I'll go up and check. Yes, I'd appreciate that. I have to go out for a while, but uh, I'm sure it'll be taken care of by the time I get back. Well, I'm sure. I'll see to it. I hate for his wife to start missing him. Call your wife on the phone and get her up here. I don't know where she is. Griff, take Mr. Sawyer downstairs and find his wife. 
and invited to dinner. Sawyer. Don't get yourself killed. Why don't we all just relax and take it easy? You sure can run, woman. Why don't you just leave us alone? Why don't you just sit down? You don't scare me. My mother used to slap me like that. And I used to slap her back. Now sit down. You're a big man. I'd like to have you alone for about two minutes. Why not? You got it. Uh, Bill, you... Uh... Let's go, Sawyer. No, Artie, please don't go in there. I'll keep quiet. Come on, Sawyer. Artie? Come on. Come on. Two minutes are on, Mr. Sawyer. Come on. Come on, Mr. Sawyer. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's a wrap. husband's resting comfortably, Mrs. Sawyer. He's all right. He's just out of breath. What do you want out of us? All he wanted was a place to stay. But your husband's got some compulsion about protecting his building. The old man's a loser, honey. Billy, did you hurt him? Just give him a little tap. Why? Why are you so worried? I'm not. You know, Mrs. Sawyer, I think your old man's got something for young girls. Shut up, well, Claudine's got something for old men. A 
chick's getting a little too emotional. I might have to pop her one, you know? <laughs> What's eating you, sweetheart? Hey, how does it feel to live in a prison like this building, huh? What do they give you, a couple of bucks a month and a smelly flat to live in? You know, I pity you. You're really afraid. I haven't been afraid since I was six years old. But then what would you know about kids, huh? I don't see anybody running around calling you mama. Thanks. to see how you are. You all right? Hey, Artie, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was good. Is this an act, too? Or do you just enjoy destroying people's lives? You stupid hick. You can't blame this all on me. I mean, Artie, you didn't exactly run away from me at that bar, now, did you? Came to see how you are. You're fine. There's our cop. Right on schedule. How does it feel to be with somebody who's going to be famous? It's like being a part of history. <laughs> Big deal. Well, I can understand that coming from you. I mean, all you got is a super to get kicks from. It's nothing but a glorified garbage man. He works hard. He doesn't have to stick a gun in someone's back to feel like a big man. Gag him, Verge. You ready, Riff? What do you think, Jam? You know something, Riff? When this is over, you and I got some talking to do. Well, like I said, I owe you for saving my life and now. But when this is over, we're on our own, pretty boy. There you go, you comfortable? Mm. Time for daydreaming, girl. Get with it. He'll be around in two minutes. Let's get dressed. Thank 
Morris flooded. Thank you very much. Will you please hurry? Control. The entire wall is on fire. Thank you. Will you hurry?
the bank. Black is the creek. Where, Trisha? What happened? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. Black boy's bomb didn't go outside. That's what happened. They killed birds. Stop it! When that's our ticket to ride. You got any bombs left, boy? Huh? What can you? You owe me, Riff. I don't owe you nothing. You owe me. All I gotta think about is myself now. You owe me! I got one. All right. My friend Riff is going to hide a bomb. And we're going to hijack this whole entire building. <laughs> Ready? Did you put it where I told you to? Yeah, it's set for 6.20. Let's go. Cut her loose. Come on! Loose? You're going to be our messenger. You're going to go downstairs and tell the cops there's a bomb planted in the building. And that your husband is our hostage. The bomb goes off at 6.20. They send up a walkie-talkie. And when we're free and clear, we let Alardi go, and he can tell them where the bomb is. What happens if they don't fall for it? Then boom. Scratch one building and a whole bunch of people. They got no choice. <laughs> Let's go. Don't forget about that walkie-talkie. You wouldn't want anything to happen to all Lardy, would you? <laughs> It doesn't wait for anything. You better run. <laughs> Thank you. 
Is it? What is it? My husband, they got him upstairs. They planted a bomb in the building. How many people are in the building now, ma'am? I don't know, maybe 48. But listen, the bomb, they say it's set to go up in 20 minutes. Now, it took me time to get down here. Uh, they want a walkie-talkie. When they're safe, they release my husband, and they'll tell you where the bomb is. We don't have time to evacuate the building. Oh, uh, hurry, will you? Carter, get me a walkie-talkie. Where are they now, ma'am? 7A. A palm is 7A. Okay, let's clear this bottom floor. Get me the bomb squad. Take it easy, ma'am. Take it easy. Fun, huh, Artie? How far you think you're going to get? One step at a time, my friend. You're not much of a hero when you're dead. You don't think so, huh, Artie? I'll tell you something. This whole city is watching us right now. I'm buying you a little piece of immortality. And you're going to be the hero. <laughs> How many buildings do you think have been hijacked, huh? Hey. How are you doing, mother? Huh? I told you this is a big time. Hold it! All right. Put the walkie-talkie on the ground. Now you gun. Kick it against the wall. Down the hall. Come on, come on, come on! Find your belly. Hands behind your head. If you move, I blow saw your inhale. Let's go, Rick! Right? Come on! All right, we're coming down. We've got the super with us. I don't want any heroes. You hear that? I want the front door clear. I mean, clear. Let's go. No. I'm finished. It's no big time, Billy. I've had enough. Enough? We've just begun. I can't stand anymore. I can't hurt people. You're on your own, kid. I always have been. Too bad you could have been somebody. Let's go! Won't be long. Is this bomb gonna work? It'll work. No, you aren't as smart as you think you are, Red Boy. I mean, you're not really entitled to any of that money, you know? I mean, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be stuck right now. Well, you're unstuck now, thanks to me. You don't serve any purpose anymore. Kind of overstepped your welcome. So long, Riff. You're gonna kill me, too. You're gonna let that bomb go off and kill everybody in this building. You're right, for once in your life. Right, but those people out there. Crazy. <laughs> Everybody's gonna get killed. Now you're included. I wasn't gonna let that down go up. Stand there! I can't. Listen, listen, you know, that bomb's right there, and it's gonna go in less than six minutes. It's gonna go in less than six minutes, and you flip it! Stand there! Sorry. The bomb's on the elevator roof. Pete! Mr. 
Sawyer. I'm with the bomb squad. You'll have to tell us how much time is left on that timer. Okay. Okay, I'm going in the elevator shaft. Now. Two minutes. It'll take us longer than that to get up there. What? How is it wired? There, there, there are three wires from the timer to the dynamite. Okay, you'll have to pull the center lead to diffuse it. They're all, they're all tangled. Well, trace one with your finger. Okay. One. One goes to an outside connection. Then the next one. I can't tell. They, they all go down in there somewhere. Slowly trace one. I, I don't know which one it is. I, I don't know. It'll be a law against this weather. What are you doing? Well, there's no reason the place can't be livable. You know, I think a picture would look real nice on that wall. Or maybe we should wallpaper it. What do you think, Art? I think you're great. I could say the same about you. I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't be so bad. I mean, a mechanical engineer is something real special. Well, I didn't pass the course yet. You kidding? They're lucky to get you. Yeah. Maybe they are. 